Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, December 2022 prediction reading. This is going to be for Pisces. Um, this reading could be about anything um, and you could apply this to any of your placements. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Um, so we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in December. We'll finish off the read to see what you guys need to know, look out for, and work on. So uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Pisces. What do we have for Pisces for December 2022? Tell me about Pisces for December 2022. What is surrounding Pisces for December 2022 for Pisces? Okay. All right. We have the Magician here, Gemini, Virgo. We have the Sun, Leo energy. What, I, what I'm getting here is that Pisces, you're manifesting happiness here for yourself. Yeah. You're manifesting happiness for yourself. You know, you're also manifesting a new beginning. You know, for some of you guys, you might be overcoming some sort of heartbreak situation here that you went through here, okay? Uh, this is interesting. This is really specific. Some of you guys could have had a miscarriage, a stillborn or something like that, okay? You know, this is a trauma that you're just sort of overcoming or that there still needs to be more work that needs to be done. But with the Ace of Pentacles here, you know, there's an opportunity here for prosperity here for you. You know, with the Ace of Pentacles here, you could be starting a new business. Uh, one of the things I feel like someone here has to really, really look out for their health here. You know, I, I don't do health readings, but someone here has to kind of keep an eye out on their heart. Okay. Their heart, their blood vessels here, their lungs, something about the heart space. Okay. What else do we, yeah. This is interesting because I feel like someone here at some point had a stroke. Yeah, or a heart, heart attack. Okay, so that's something to look out for. We have the Knight of Pentacles here and the Nine of Wands. One of the things I'm getting here, the, one of the reasons I feel like you want a new beginning here is that the work that you're doing is very monotonous. I feel like you're getting bored of it. I feel like you're getting tired of it. And I just feel like you're manifesting something new for yourself. Yeah, you're feeling kind of trapped. Okay, and I'm feeling like you want to get into this more creative energy here. Okay, so this creative energy could be, you know, painting, making music or something like that. You know, when I see the Knight of Cups, you know, this is a sort of like a hippie-like energy for me. You know, someone here who sits by a bonfire and pay, plays guitar. You know, someone here who sculpts in nature and paints in nature and stuff like that. Okay, so I feel like you guys have an incredibly creative side here. Okay, one of the things I'm getting here is that you guys are really, really, really connected to nature. Uh, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys love to spend time by a body of water here. So I feel like if, if you guys don't live by a body of water, you guys might be traveling to a warmer place here. Okay, to be by a body of water. Ace of Pentacles here. We got the Nine of Swords, Three of Swords here, and Justice. There's definitely some anxiety that's keeping you from actually pursuing what you want here with the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, this could be pursuing a new job, pursuing a new business, buying a new home, buying a new car here. This is interesting. I do feel like the stress and anxiety is stemming from maybe, um, you know, it could be that, you know, I feel like somebody here has that incredib incredibly bad credit. Yeah, um, in terms of that happening, ugh, you know, if you're looking for a loan or something like that, I do feel like someone here might be rejected here, okay? Um, tell me about the Knight of Pentacles here. Someone here could work in the court of law. This is interesting. I'm feeling like someone here at some point has been audited or will be audited. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Wow, what's going on here, Pisces? Nine of Wands, you know, Five of Pentacles. 
just be careful. I'm feeling like someone here could be experiencing a financial loss or someone here could be losing their job. I mean, someone here might have lost their job already. Someone here might have quit. But there are some, some big changes that you're manifesting here for yourself. You know, this could be an indication that you're sort of like trying to find more balance in your life where it's like sort of chaotic here, Pisces. Yeah. So what else do we have here for Pisces? What else do we have here for Pisces for December 2022? What does Pisces need to look out for? Work on here for December 2022 for Pisces. Cool. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the High Priestess here, Cancer, Pisces. You got the Four of Wands. You got the Two of Cups. Some of you guys might be going through a divorce. This could be a same-sex relationship. Yeah, there's a huge change, a huge shift in your relationship. There's, a, there's big changes happening here for you. And even though it's painful, even though it's difficult, this change is going to be good for you because this is a tower moment. This is going to give you the opportunity to sort of rebuild here and build something that you want or manifest something that you want here for yourself. The lovers, Gemini energy, the tower here, Aries, Scorpio energy, the page of pentacles here. It seems like there's an offer or that there is something that's being rejected here and it stems back from regarding some sort of credit here. Because I feel like someone here might be taking out a loan or a mortgage, you know, for a car or a home or something like that. And you feel like that's not going to work out for some reason. Yeah. Page of Pentacles in the reverse here in the full Aries energy and the High Priestess here in the Eight of Pentacles. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're just going to be like, you know what, this happened for a reason. You know, I'm just going to move on and just take things as it comes. You know, a lot of you guys are working on really strengthening your intuition here too with the Eight of Pentacles here and the High Priestess, the full Aries energy. The Four of Wands here and the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Cups here and the Moon. Sorry, that was really loud. You know, we're, we're getting a lot of twos here. So there's definitely a fear of... A connection not working out or fear of a connection ending here you know i feel like you know with the two of wands if there's a lot of twos here i feel like you have a decision to make it's like what do you do do you surrender to this big change that's happening here or do you stay in this energy that you're in you know i see you pisces i see you moving forward and doing the healing work here yeah, whatever this is, this is this is an incredibly incredibly big transition that you're going through because I feel like every area in your life is really shifting here, uh, but I feel like it's shifting for the better. But it really depends on how you take it. You know, it really depends on how you handle change. So you know, I do feel like there is always a takeaway in you know bad things that happen in your in your life. You know, there's a brighter side to it, you know, and I feel like it's happening for a reason because I feel like, you know, the universe could be shaking you or something like that, okay, or trying to wake you up, all right? So Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one, all right? Thanks, guys. Bye.